Hey guys, Dave here. So a couple people know that I'm on Instagram now and uh, you know just because it seemed like the thing to do a bunch of people were getting on there and stuff. I don't really have time for all the picture taken and all that stuff but I decided to go ahead and get on there so some people know what I'm about to uh, show because I put a picture on there last night but uh, I got a new knife uh, it's a custom order that I had ordered a while back took a little bit longer than I thought to uh, get it in but it was definitely worth the wait and uh, it's pretty sick so here is the uh, Jason Stout uh, is the maker and uh, it is a knife called the mini tack cleaver and obviously the first thing you say is well it's not very many and that's exactly what I thought when I saw it it was actually bigger than I thought it was so uh, just kind of show you the outside and then I'll kind of go over the particulars of it so uh, it's a uh, great I mean overall package it's awesome I'm leaving the lanyard on it because the lanyard actually fits me perfectly so um, an OD green kydex that uh, fits it perfectly and you guys can see it's got OD green and black G10 So anyways when I ordered the uh, the knife it was kind of just uh, You know I kind of went with basically how the look of it was and I think that uh, You guys can see it's just a tank. I mean this thing is it's just sick. It's a nine inch nine inches long and it's two and a quarter inches tall it's unbelievable. Quarter inch of A2 steel. Just sick. It's got the jimping right there at the end, so when you get a hold of it, I mean, the jimping's perfectly located. And it does have a sharpened leading edge here. Chisel ground. But a sharpened leading edge, so if you needed reverse grip, you could draw. You know, you could draw the uh, knife back, and uh, it's unbelievable. Acid stone wash does have a little, uh, I don't know if that was just some extra acid stone wash or that's where maybe it, the sheath, I don't know. Just the, It's just a little dark spot on the tip. I don't know what happened there, but not a big deal. Jason B. Stout, tool maker, Martin, Tennessee. Maker's Mark. OD Green and Black G10, so sick. Removable. It's got uh, like brass hardware. The uh, pattern that he put on was the is the really the big difference. It was not the uh, pattern originally that uh, I thought was going to be on it, and I actually like this one more. The way he put the uh, four little things on here, like little finger grooves, it's just it's not going anywhere. It's it's in your hand, man. This thing is awesome, and a heck of a chopper. I'm telling you, when I first got it, I was you know. I didn't have any steaks or anything ready, but I would have loved to have chopped up some steaks or done something. I almost took my finger in. No, I'm just playing. But, uh, yeah, sick knife, man. Could not be happier that I scored it. Um, Jason Stout also makes uh, folders, uh, and I think he's actually kind of, you know, really into making his folders right now. I think that's why this one took a little bit longer than expected. Uh, no worries, as with any custom order, it just takes a little bit longer, you know. That's just how it is. So, but uh, a sick, sick addition, man. This thing is absolutely unbelievable. And I uh, cannot be more pleased to uh, get it. Unbelievable, man. And I love me some chisel grinds, but this one is just a tank. Uh, there was really only one person that knew I was getting this. Dell at Dirty Room Knives. I shared a picture with him because... Uh, I was, you know, showing him kind of the comparison between this and the Hulk Hunter. A little bit different, but now, Dell, you'll see, definitely a lot different, man. This thing is a hoss. Unbelievable. So, anyways, that was the uh, main reason to uh, make the vid. Have a couple more things to share. Cannot be more, uh, more impressed with getting this, though. That thing is just, it's a sick knife. What a sick addition, man. So, um, I did get some more stuff. I did take advantage of uh, the sale that Matt had, uh, the Thor 153. He was selling the A10, uh, Hoback, Terminator Edition. Had to have it. The main reason is it's a number one. So, whether it has a couple little minor issues, I'll send it to Jake. If he can't fix them, it doesn't matter. It's still a sweet addition to the collection. So... A number one, to me, it's worth it every time. I would always like to have the number one. I think this was the first collaboration between uh, between Jake and Alpha Hunter. So, uh, so sick, man. Um, just a little bit off-center on the blade. 
pocket clips a little loose probably just needs to be tightened and uh, you know I you know he said you know some blade play I, I'm not seeing it I'm not seeing it at all side to side or up and down I just don't see it so super impressed with it it's an awesome looking knife either way not the kind of work that we're used to seeing Jake with all his industrial finishes and everything uh, definitely different but awesome so could not be more pleased to get that uh, I got my sheath back from uh, Andrew Armadillo sheets it's just ridiculous he really thought this one out you know here's uh, reverse grip just pulls right out and then you're right in the choil so you know you could wear it that way or forward grip you know you would just put your index finger right there in that little cutout and you're right in the choil again so carbon fiber hole sticks I mean you guys hear that it just when it locks in it's just it just locks in and there's nothing his sheets are just really really well made so and he threw in the sticker appreciate that bud gonna find someplace awesome to uh, throw that on to so thank you for that man um, picked up a uh, primal punch finally got me whacked me upside the head with a Tommy knocker and said dude you need one of these and so I went ahead and grabbed one uh, he had the sale decided I wanted to have one this thing's pretty wicked there's a bolt if you guys watch his channel there's a bolt that's uh, taped up in here and I mean you whack somebody with this and it's gonna cause some damage got a little give to it you know you could if you had to walk you know you're out walking whatever you smack a dog in the nose or fight off a defender what you know I mean or defend yourself whatever it happens to be pretty wicked little tool OD green and black you know me I had to have that one so appreciate that bud thanks a lot just awesome man love that thing gonna have to uh, I saw your video man that was funny you out whacking the ironing board you were just going crazy man that was awesome so anyway scored that got another Yojimbo too man I just can't anytime I see one I'm gonna pick one up you know I mean it was a decent price so I, I, I mean it was a steal of a price actually but I grabbed another one so can't can't seem to get enough Yojimbo 2's I'm just afraid they're gonna do away with it and if they do I, I'm gonna have as many as I can get so uh, was did score a tad dauntless um, pretty cool presentation here it's got this little certificate inside that's got all the measurements and everything for the uh, MK1 full titanium dauntless pretty sweet man kind of little schematic drawing that comes in here triple lot design I'm sure a lot of people know Tad Gear. They're, you know, the way they sell their knives. It's not for everybody. You know, some people don't like it, but uh, you know, it is what it is. They're uh, in high demand, and there's not a lot to go around. So the secondary prices are uh, pretty high, and not a lot of people want to pay for them. And I got this one actually for a really good price. Not not that far over what uh, they usually sell them for, but MK1. Just a, uh, it's virtually brand new. It's got one little. One little, uh, the guy said there was a little flaw you can see right there, right there. And I was like, really? Seriously? That's just dust right there. But I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I think that's wicked. I posted some pictures of this on Instagram too last night. So sick. S30V, full titanium. Pretty sweet, man had to have it it's buttery smooth this thing is just so smooth it's just I mean it just does it just flips right open it's got the great choil pocket clip leaves a little bit to be desired it kind of rides a little high here I actually prefer that to be a little bit lower but uh, you know decent decent retention on it but uh, yeah I had to have one I've been looking at one for a while so full titanium always gonna go with the full titanium if I have the option so I scored that um, also on Instagram if you guys want to check it out uh, blood of Patriots uh, that's also my USN username too that was uh, yeah the name that I went with so it's not killer elite 71 blood of Patriots um, okay so my buddy John has sent me a knife uh, he's the one who's done all the scale work and stuff on my uh, Manix 2's and uh, my Kershaw and some other stuff and uh, he sent me a knife to kind of show me the kind of work that he's doing right now um, I don't know if this is the stock scale on the back it looks like black G10 or uh, micarta uh, 
concealed carry type of look to it. I don't know if that's the stock. This is a Kershaw trimmer. And uh, on the front, you'll see that, uh, you know, he's got uh, just kind of, you know, some of, you know, I mean, a lot of these patterns are going to look similar. You know, I know Jeff does a lot of patterns like this, similar stuff to cratering. Um, you know, and now this uh, modified Anzo pattern, a little bit variation, kind of angled. But uh, he sent me this, and uh, there is something new. Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool, man. He inlaid this uh, 40 cal casing into uh, the handle. That's pretty sick, man. I haven't seen anybody do that before. I've seen the, you know, for the over travel and things like that, but I have not seen it inlaid into it. I, I would really like to do, you know, something like that, like on black and maybe put them like right here. That would be pretty sweet looking to have two of them, especially if you get, you know, maybe two sides. It just depends on the pocket clip, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I like how he did that. So, OD Green and Jade. Just kind of showing me what he's doing. Different. And uh, he said, you know, do whatever you want with it. I just, you know, was, I do send him a lot of work and, uh, you know, and I hopefully, you know, get him some work too. It is a part time gig for him and he does an awesome job. Um, but uh, he told me, do whatever you want with it. You know, if you want to keep it fine, if you want to pay it forward, fine. And so I decided that, uh, you know, thanks to his generosity and, and now my generosity, I'm going to pay this forward and I'm going to do it right now in a giveaway. So what I want you to do is Earl is not alone anymore. I have actually found a, uh, a partner for Earl to hang out with. So I will move the stout out of the way. And... Uh, Earl is yeah not a happy camper today because Earl is no longer alone. I have found another new addition to the channel. It's just wicked. I came across it the other night, um, and it is just yeah it's pretty sick. Look at that on top of his crown. That is sweet. So basically, what I'm going to do is I have written a name down on a piece of paper, and it's the name that I really want to go with. And basically, I'm going to give you guys a chance to convince me otherwise, or I'm, or if somebody goes, uh, basically what I'm going to do is I have written this name down. And everybody gets three choices on a name. The first person, I've written it down on this piece of paper right here, okay? And I can tell you that there is a name written down on here, and I'm not going to move this piece of paper. I'm going to set it down. I don't want to be able to see through it, so... Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this, set them down, okay? And I'm going to be putting this underneath this, uh, this, the new skull. And this is the name that I really want to go with, okay? Now, I'm going to back these up. So, what you're going to do is you get three choices, okay? If somebody picks the name that's on this card in the comments, all you do is just put it in your comments, okay? Put it in the comments. If somebody picks the same name that's on this card, they will automatically win this knife. The first person that says the name that's on this card, okay? If nobody picks the name on this card, this is probably still the name I'm going to go with unless I think somebody's come up with a better name, okay? But either way, I will pick the top 10 names that I decide, you know, the top 10 favorites and those 10 will go into a hat and a random winner will be selected. I'm not saying I'm going to use your name because I'll probably go with this name. I'm just saying that I'm going to give you a chance to try to convince me that another name is better. Okay? But if somebody says the name that's on this, okay, and I'm going to slide this right underneath here, okay? And this is not going to move. The beginning of my next video, you guys will see the exact same thing and it will be sitting here just like that. Even if somebody wins in the meantime, the beginning of the video will look exactly like this, okay? So you guys will see that I have not moved it. I'm gonna move everything away from it so that nothing moves anything. The camera's gonna stay the same, everything's gonna stay the same. So, basically put your name in. If somebody does say the name in their choices, I will put in the description box at the top that it is over and that you know, we have a winner and I will, you know, say who that winner is and what the name is. And then at the beginning of the next video, I will pull this out and show you that the name was in fact that name. Now, like I said, if nobody picks the name, the top 10, you know, choices, the top 10 ones that I choose will go into a hat and they will all get a chance to win this knife. One will get drawn out and somebody wins this. 
And because it's a, a spring assist and a locking blade, you know, I'm going to have to limit it to U.S. because I don't want it seized by customs. And, you know, this also helps John. Hopefully, you know, people see his work and, uh, you know, people will, uh, you know, get in touch with me and I can give you his contact information. A couple of people have already done that and I've been happy to forward it on, uh, you know, forward on the information. Uh, so just, uh, but that's the rules. If anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to PM me. But uh, for now, it's just going to be, uh, you know, the, the 50, 50 states and the U.S. And, uh, and that's it, guys. So good luck. You know, I hope somebody gets it. And uh, like I said, if somebody's lucky enough to get it, I will be keeping track. And I will uh, put in the, uh, the uh, box at the top that uh, it's over and that we have a winner. And I will announce who that winner is. And then at the beginning of the video, the next video, you guys will see. I was expecting more stuff today. Uh, my mail got delivered. But for some reason, the four packages that are you know, were today did not get delivered. So maybe they just didn't fit in the box. I don't know. But uh, either way, uh, I will have more stuff coming. I went absolutely crazy the other day. And Tuesday is going to be like Christmas here. So because of the holiday. So that's it, guys. Everybody, good luck. A uh, bunch of new stuff. Just awesome. Even picked up mini iPad today. Couldn't stand it. Decided it was time. I'm not a big iPad guy, but the mini one's pretty cool size. So I went ahead and picked one up. <coughs> so I'm going to check that thing out but uh that's it everybody enjoy your weekend uh hope you have a hope you have a good one whether you're friends family or just uh you know going out and getting honorary and having a good time so whatever it happens to be you guys uh have a good one and I'll talk to you soon